Now if you are dosing hydrogen peroxide in your aquarium, first of all make sure that it's a 35% food grade um, version because there's very very few hydrogen peroxides that are alright. Most of them are mixed with potentially toxic substances such as hair peroxide, food peroxide, all that sort of stuff. This is the one you need to use. It's actually very hard to get hold of but we have, them, have it here available at the moment at Majestic Aquariums if you need it. Um, the best way to dose hydrogen peroxide is first of all don't overdose it. Um, one mil per 10 litres is the dose rate and it is advisable to start off at a lower dose. So start off using less than one mil per five, 10 litres, maybe one mil per 20 litres and then after about a week of daily use you can move it up to one mil per 10 litres. So um, being cautious on how um, you introduce it is a very good thing to do. And the way that you introduce it best is suck it up with a pipette or a um, turkey baster and then squirt it straight on whatever's annoying you. If you squirt it on Bristol worms, you watch them instantly die. It's surprisingly fun. If you have Aptasia, you can squirt it at the Aptasia. They shrivel up and blow up right in front of your face. It's quite fun as well. And you can also squirt it on algae. So diatom algae, hair algae, string algae, slime algae, any sort of algae that you got, you can just squirt this stuff on it and it literally shrivels up and dies right in front of your face. But it's really important not to use a full dose and squirt all the algae in your tank and have it all die at once. Because when algae dies, it can release off toxic um, 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 things into the water and it can re release all its stores of nutrients into the water, it can make the water cloudy, it can kill the fish, it can cause you all sorts of troubles. So you're better off just squirting and killing a little bit of algae, then tomorrow squirt and kill a bit more, then the next day squirt and kill a bit more until you get through all your algae. And make sure you have some sort of phosphate remover in there and at the same time too to scrub the, the excess phosphate out of the water and even consider some regular water changes. But once again, using a turkey baster or a um, pipette is really the best way to introduce this product and um, up your dose rate slowly.